All right. Uh, let's use... Actually, no, let's not use another Rift Ball, because we might be able to catch some Pokemon in here. We are now in... The... We're still... Oh, we're still in the Ravine, I guess, technically. Okay. Interesting. What can we find in here? More Lunatone? All right. Sorry, not super interesting for myself. A Doug Trio. Again, of course, we have Arena Trap. That is not a problem. If there are going to be Arena Trap Doug Trios in here, then... Yeah, we will real quick use that Repel. Real quick. We do have a trainer in here. Hello there, sir. You saw a big scary Pokemon out there, and you call yourself a cool trainer. Hmm. Interesting. Call yourself a cool trainer. Damn, that outrage did a lot of damage. Holy shit. Probomitable. Let us go into Rose. And use Moon Blast. Jesus Christ, what is all this damage, bro? Need these guys to calm down. And, okay, well, I guess we can't go the other way, so we can go this way. We are on the woodsy pathway now. Maybe there's going to be more encounters here? Oh, we have buildings, though. That's very interesting. I wonder what's in here. Place to heal, potentially. No. Just just an empty cabin. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I feel like I see an item somewhere. Oh, I swear I saw something like sp sparkle. Yeah. Oh, what? You! I fucking knew it! I... Mmm, I called it. I knew Patterson wasn't dead. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew this dude wasn't dead. I'm so goddamn smart. Look at me go. It was only the most obvious thing ever. That's crazy, though. Fuck them, Leonardos. Some bum asses. Ah! You're Elmer Patterson. Um, in the flesh. So the Leonardos didn't kill you. Not exactly. I know I fell. Leonardo had knocked the Flores boy unconscious, but... Yeah, it's back. This fucking dude. I know you're in here. Probably hiding out. Look at you. Hello, sir. So, I'm assuming this case was a setup, seeing as you're still alive? It was supposed to be a setup. I just wasn't expecting Leonardo to actually try and kill me. Leo. Uh, Leonardo, that is. Can I turn up this audio just for this theme? It's a good theme. Leonardo, that is. As friendly as he seems. Oh. Look at Roswell saying this as well. As friendly as he seems, you can't trust him. Huh? Why do you say that? Oh. Isn't it obvious? I guess it is, in hindsight. But I've lived through the Flora's rule. The Leonardos were nothing when compared to them. I suppose he's helped you out in the past, then. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and Rosewell's talking about Lafayette. Okay. I'm telling you, Rosewell. Rosewell is conniving in here. And he is up to no good. He's only here to sow discord amongst Mordecai and Syl. 
You see, the problem with trusting someone like Lafayette is that he's too self-absorbed. The moment helping you becomes inconvenient to him, you're dropped. Sill helps me with my case in court, though, and I sort of get it. His problems are a lot bigger than mine right now. And your problems aren't big? You've got the whole city breathing down your neck. Everyone wants your attention, your money, your death. Oh, and here's Patterson, but I assume we're having the same conversation, which is interesting. Well, I'm still alive now. Out of nowhere, that demon bird grabbed me and dropped me here. I do, I, I do, a, X? Yeah, this is French, and it's Wait, short enough Deus, to work. Deus Ex? Yeah, that, that. Deus, as in Deus Ex Machina? I don't know. Oh, you haven't heard of that? No, I've heard of Deus Ex Machina. Yeah. Well, that's how Deus Ex is spelled. That's Portuguese? What about Latin? By God. What about French? See you. Hmm. Adeus ex Zapdos. I've tried to leave, but it wouldn't let me. So I've been stuck. Hmm. That sound is for Mesa Attorney. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, let's turn down this audio. Holy shit. Back to this. Okay. At any rate, let's not worry about him for now. I got the green light from Blackthorn. We just need to sort out a few more of those pesky technicalities. Like? Custody. Huh? After I... <clears throat> accidentally kidnapped Natalie... I would prefer to not hop into this without understanding the guardianship situation with these kids. And here is Syl. Oh, uh, hey Syl. Hey, how have you been holding up? Alright, those reporters are really annoying though. Lafayette, you looked like a drowned Rattata. Ugh, sometimes I wish I was. Huh? I was going to take a hot shower, but there's a line about 14 children long. Anything else notable been going on while I was out? You should be happy. I figured out a way to get rid of the kids. Oh? I'm an alum of Blackthorn Academy. I pulled some strings to get the little gremlins enrolled there. Now it's just a matter of sorting out the finer details. Like? Is there an echo in here? I want to figure out what the custody situation is. Plus, Mordecai is paying their, paying their tuition. He needs to clear that with Arturo. I do? You're meeting in an hour. And maybe one of you should ask Marie about that whole custody thing. I don't care which of you does it. Lafayette, you should track down whatever female cousin you know and ask her for help with these kids. Why? Perhaps it has escaped your attention, but some of these kids are girls. Do you even know how to deal with girl-specific problems? Alright, fair. I don't know how to take care of kids, period. We are now Mordecai. So Mordecai sounds like he needs to go talk with Mr. Arturo. And I think I'll have Syl do the thing with Luciano. It just seems right. So let's, um, let's go, let's have Yum Yum up front until we start running into wild Pokemon. Let's go. Oh wait, is that why the, the bathroom door is locked? Because there's so many kids down here. Holy f- <laughs> We're all waiting in line to take a shower. Was the kid that tried to rat me out? In Minnesota. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. 
One day I'll be a great Leonardo, but I'm not passing up the chance to go to a good school either. All the high-ranking gangsters are smart and classy. <laughs> oh no. How's it going, Noah? Good, good. I uh, just got back from work. Nice. Got DQ. Oh. Nice. nice. There's Oh, that's cool. March through um or April through um uh, October. Uh, you can actually Forgot bring your DQ into the, into the movie with you. That's uh, and yeah. also, I, I work at the movie theater, I get a discount at the DQ. Nice. You lucky little. Anyway, I can get that discount. <laughs> uh, get a job at my movie theater. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Or the DQ. <laughs> Um, what the fuck? Oh, I needed to go ask Arturo. Fuck, I don't want to talk to Arturo. I will I actually will. be flat broke before I ever... Oh my god, why the fuck are we talking to the... To the media? Mr. Flores, you've been reported frequenting this area. Why might that be? Also, how does it feel to have committed your first murder? No comment. Also, we, uh, if, if you remember correctly, we were given a mistrial in our, in our, um, in our, uh, you know, court case. Yes, but caught on camera. No comment! How many fucking news people do we have? Oh my god, why are there so many people here? Oh, because Arturo. Ah, uh, Mr. Flores, please proceed in. Oh, fuck! When was the last mm. time I saved? 9.30. I think we can do that. That was after... That was after... 9.30, so three minutes ago? Yeah. And that was after we we did the whole... communication with them. Um, it's after we became Mordecai, so we can go a little bit faster throughout through the dialogue, not throughout the dialogue. The fuck. Yeah. Also, I mentioned this in. Uh, I know neither. Oh, and on I'll say sweet. I know neither of you care too much about this particular topic, but I mentioned in hashtag anime that I recently watched Chainsaw Man, and oh. it is one of the best shows I've ever seen. <laughs> like. Absolutely. I, have heard, I, I, I have thought heard, I would hate it. I have heard nothing but great things. I thought I would absolutely hate it because, you know, I'm not huge on, like, ultra-violent anime. Uh, but that ended up being one of the best parts. It's like, I'm bored with my usual beat-em-up shonen. I want a guy with a chainsaw for a head and chainsaws for arms to make everything gush blood and <laughs> it's it's all, absolutely ridiculous so. all all i know about it is that i would inevitably and happily let makima just ruin my life I, now I, I this is the type of content i expect to hear I, in I, the caterade 5 stream the, i knew that you were gonna say something like that i i, I it was either gonna be makima or power it was going to be one of those two. <laughs> I don't know who Power is. Uh, look at the most recent, uh, or second most recent screenshot in hashtag anime. All right, we I'll have story. Cool. I didn't, I didn't even know we had a hashtag anime. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sheesh, you actually made it through that oh, crowd? Oh, hello. Yeah. Well, okay. Arturo is okay. here and ready for your meeting. Great. I still can't believe he burst in on Scottsboro like that. 
Hey, being grumpy is my shtick. It's also Rosewell's. Ugh, him? Can't stand that creep. You should see the way he talks to Cordelia when you're not around. That's also, nasty. <laughs> at any rate, I'm going to be on break. If you need me, I'll be at your our apartment. I'm sure Arturo's waiting. I'm going to braid no. that crowd of awful paparazzi. If, if you look at the background of that screenshot, no, you can see Makima walking Denji on a freaking leash. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, more that's, story. That's I the type presume. of show this is. All right, Mordecai. Good, you've arrived. Now let's get down to business. My time is money, you know. Oh, you stopped streaming. Oh, okay. Oh, I on did. Discord. On Discord. I did. Oh, right, because you restarted the game. <laughs> you restarted oh. the game. So. That would be why. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I was like, I'm suddenly not hearing music. I'm suddenly not ha hearing hot saxophone. Banger. Banger. Arturo had me... Arturo had me sign a bunch of scholarship fundy stuff. He was kind of cool to me. I don't think he's happy that I picked Scottsboro over him. Excuse me, what? Bro, it was... We had the better chance to win the case with Scottsboro. That's all I'm saying. I really have to commend Lewis for this idea. It's a genius step to getting your reputation back on the right track. Huh? Doing little things for the community rebuilds a sense of loyalty. It gains you followers. I don't want followers. Ah, uh, look who's here. Pardon my lateness. Those insufferable reporters were blocking up the entrance. No worries, Lewis. It's rather irritating. I've been sending out Ramira to get my lunches for me. I'll bet she hates that. Now, Lewis, I know you had some worries about making sure this operation is completely legal. Correct. Well, I can't speak for the custody situation. I can give you some guidelines for actually transporting the kids to the school. What's the minimum acceptable adult to children ratio? You only need two, but I'd suggest covering your bases, bases excuse me, and finding four people. Already done. Lafayette, Marie, Cordelia, and whatever woman cousin Lafayette finds. Um, what? Did, did Cordelia agree to that? And I don't think sending Luciano is the best idea. Cordelia will be fine. Yeah, I say send the sneezy sleaze bag. He knows him best. He was an awful guardian. How would you know? And what does it matter? He'll get the job done. I was one of those kids. The Leonardo's found and raised me. I would have been a gangster too if I hadn't flunked recruitment. Uh oh. Yeah, they're still here. Firo! Why are you calling for Firo right now? Guess I'm walking. I'm going to assume that we need to go talk to Ramira. Damn, they really all just. Please consider telling me your plans for world domination. Ah, oh, shit. Don't be too hard on Arturo. The guy can be a little obtuse at times. Like me, then? I wasn't planning on saying it. It's clear what happened to your family's messed him up, but he does care about you. Maybe he cares about not losing his wealthiest client. He was pretty insistent about being the one to rep me in court. Just don't go burning your bridges is all I'm saying. Anything else? Yeah, go pick up the school uniforms from P&Ws. Originally I was going to do it myself, but there was a Leonardo outside the office and he saw me. Won't be long before they're on my tail again. Hmm. Oh, the Ace Attorney sound effects. Am I walking there right away? No, I want to uh, talk to Ramira. Maybe to hear more about the possibility of the upgrades in the apartment? I don't know. Possibly. Let us see. 
Let us see, let us see. I don't know. I, I was trying to do the, the Odyssey part of... Um, nice try. The Odyssey. But then I accidentally started singing it to the tune of Sonic Booms. <laughs> let us see. Yes, see. <laughs> yes? Hi. Hey, are you trying to put me out of a job? There's only room for one grumpy person around these parts. I've been cultivating my sarcastic remarks and icy glare for ages. You aren't interfering with that. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Grump Town, the town of Grump. Wow, you want to get any more stereotypical? <laughs> hey, it's better than Riverview. Fair point. Also, I think the landlord wanted to talk, wanted you to talk with him, Mordecai. Maybe consider doing that. Fine, I guess I'll donate. I suppose I'll donate. What does hey, he I need? Like the so the phone things, okay. Let's do... What does 5,000 get us? Yes. Wow, we've reached our $5,000 goal. Renovations will start right away. Oh, look at us go. We now have the newer, we have the newer, uh, Lavender Town theme, the one that's not as creepy. Hmm. Hello there. Oh, Mordecai. Hi. The landlord mentioned that you were the one paying for all these renovations. Um, I mean, he said that anyone can donate, technically. Fair, but, well, thank you. Am I, like... I don't want to be that guy. I don't really want to be that guy. But I certainly I'm not the first person to think of, like, shipping Mordecai and Ramira. I feel like... There's enough, like... I feel like there's good banter between them. You know? Anyways, we're here to pick up some, uh, some uniforms, I guess. Ah, Mr. Flores, is there something I can do to help you? Yeah, I'm here to pick up an order for some school uniforms. Yes, for Blackthorn Academy, correct? No more clothes. Oh. Um, Interesting. Uh no more clothes, I tell you. You see? You should have just agreed to Emerald from the get-go. So many dresses. Um, please don't start anything with Mrs. Leonardo in the store. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mordecai's not home at the moment. Please me leave a message at the tone. Hello, Mr. Flores. I'm just here to pay my balance, but you can reach me through my business email, lleonardo at uno.rvr, or call me at... Ah, okay, sorry for standing in the way. No, no, you go about your business first. I guess she doesn't want to come off as too friendly to me in public. Uh, uniforms. Yeah, school uniforms. Well, we tried to get in contact with Mr. Rosewell, but we couldn't reach him. Uh, not all the uniforms are complete yet. It'll be at least another few hours. Roswell, you said? Uh, he's busy running away from Arturo's office right now. Oh, does, does he not know? Does he not know? So, can I just take the ones that are finished? It'll make carrying things easier. Oh, of course. Thanks. I'll bring these back to Sylvester's house. These are very interesting things going on. What the fuck is going on? They're never gonna find me so long as I'm behind you! Hey, have you seen Julio around here, Mr. Detective? Nope. It's... A complete mystery. Darn. Ha! 
Not a bad idea, kid. Hey, Syl. Oh, uh, kid. Uh, other kid, that is. Mordecai. Greetings. You know, Arturo says I'm 19. You don't have to call me kid anymore. If you don't want me to anymore, I won't. But you'll always be the kid to me. Even though I'm a Flores? I hardly have a personal gr axe to grind with the Flores. And if I did, their actions wouldn't be your fault. Uh, oh. Dude, this is so fucking funny. Wait. Is Ekaterina Flores... Like a reference to ECAT. Just saying. Also, Ekaterina Flores was married to Silva Lafayette, and he was my great grandfather, Sylvester II's brother. So we're basically related. Oh, please, is there an elite family the Lafayettes aren't related to? Um, uh, the Rosewells. Wrong. My father's uncle's cousins. Yeah, I get it. Right. Stop wasting Mordecai's time with small talk, Lafayette. Don't you have some case or another to solve? They went back to the dining room. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, curious to see if the bathroom line has gotten any shorter. Nope! What's with the one dude jogging? Nothing. I see. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay. Let us uh, go into the dining room then. Oh, hey there, kiddo. But I don't really want to. I just want my mom's necklace back. Oh. Sylvester has the necklace, correct? Uh, I think we should talk. Hey, cut the chatter and get to work. Jesus Christ, Rosewell. Fuck you. I guess let's switch then. Because then we can go talk to Luciano. And we can also um, get to our cousin. Which I'm not even sure where our cousin lives. <clears throat> yeah, let's go in here. The bro doze off and start sleeping. Lucy. Hey, hey, Sil. Are you okay? I could ask the same thing. You look a bit... Ah, ha, ha. Uh, ha, ha. To tell you the truth, I've been feeling like a complete disaster. This a social visit? Or is there something you want? Well... This would be quite the miserable social visit. There's something I need. Ask away. Um, a complete disaster, you say. I thought you said this wasn't a social call. All right. In my capacity as a private investigator, I must know about your feelings. Bad. Tiring. I want a drink. Thank you for your testimony. I believe I will able to cross you off the list of suspects. Great. I can tell he's smiling under the mask. What's up with your hair? Well, given that the Leonardo's froze over my house as a warning, I felt it was no longer appropriate to continue dyeing my hair purple. Now I'm just back to boring brown. What's wrong with brown? Uh, full offense, Sil, but brown is lame. Come on, don't give me that glare. At least brown looks good on you. Damn, I miss purple, Luciano. Uh, about the thief kids. What's up with their guardianship? Uh, I'm technically the foster father for... Of 16 kids. Only 16? Don't laugh. Here's the thing. If a kid's above the age of 10 and registered as going on a Pokemon trainer journey, it's totally legal for them to be wandering alone in the world. I don't even have an enforceable legal obligation to do most of that parenty stuff, like feeding them. Can we stop talking about this now? I'm not a good person. And right now, 17 of those reminders are around me. But you just said... Mordecai. Ah. If 
you go back to my house, you can fo probably find their files on my desk. Well, I guess we know where we're going. I guess we know where we're going, at least first, because we also need to find Eloise. Um... Oh, let me heal up my Pokemon first. Um, there you are. All right. Also, that was Zelda music, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right, let's go down here. I'm really waiting this to be a fucking trap or some shit, but maybe not. Let's save the game. Oh, wait, then we have to go through here. Oh, and we have to do the fucking... Ugh. Why can't we just... Does this work? No, that doesn't. Fuck. How the fuck did we do this? I gotta be honest. I don't remember. Bruh. So we do this. Do this, we do this, we do this. No, no, that doesn't work. Is this it? No, it's not. Bro, how do we even do this? Oh, that's what it is. I'm a dumbass. And we have to do this as well. Luckily, we already solved that one. All right, one last save of the game because I'm sure there's gonna be fucking Leonardo's in here. No. I love that they covered the entire house. Well, honestly, though, if the entire house was covered in Nevermelt Ice, then maybe that would make sense. Luciano's desk. It still looks like he has a lot of Leonardo stuff. Okay. Businesses. I gather everything up for him. Luciano's documents. The little postcard underneath all this. The postcard clue. Sure. Head back to the house. And, um, what is this postcard clue? What's going on here? Lucy, here we are in Johto. We locked Nick in a well full of slowpoke. It was funny. Keep it real. Loose. Oh, okay. So lustrous, lustrous. Wait a second. I know lustrous and adamant are kind of the pair of Papo Juniors, if you will. But uh, did Lucy and lustrous have something going on? I wonder. Let's go talk to Luciano. Alright, hey, I got the papers. Great, I'll sort through it all. Hey, hey, Luciano isn't looking so hot. Maybe you should rest. Sheesh, stop mothering me. Is that it? Is that all we get? Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um... So I totally forget where Eloise is. Maybe a reminder? No. What should I do? Find a trustworthy female who could help us out with the kids. You've got to have some sort of cousin who would be willing. 
You check in with Marie to get more infos about the kiddos if you haven't already. Okay. I legitimately don't remember where the fuck we find Eloise. The only thing I can think of is over here. Maybe. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess we're here. Hopefully this doesn't send us into a battle because it's almost time for me to end the stream. Hello. She's gone back to being quiet, but no matter, it's Eloise I need to speak with. What are you doing up there, Al? Multitasking. I'm mocking Bruno and you at the same time. Catch me, Juno. Eek! No! Ugh. I didn't think this one through. I thought I could jump further. I'll go get a first aid kit. Smooth. I was sort of hoping she would kiss me better if things went south. Damn. That's t that's really tough. That's really tough. That that's rough, buddy. Cousin stunt double, what's up? Cousin stunt double. Uh, is that your way of saying you somehow saw me jumping off that footbridge? Yeah, man. It's all over the social media. XX Palkia oh, lover XX is always posting wild stuff. She travels a lot, and she has a cool aesthetic. She's a Leonardo. Ah, I see. Still not gonna unfollow her though. The fuck. That reminds me, I still need to track down that kid's necklace. Maybe Luciana would have some ideas on where I could find Lustrous. Or Juno. Uh, I need your how oh House Sylvain. Well, like you already know, Cousin Theater Nerd is helping me take care of him now, so I get breaks. It's a serious relief. Note to self, avoid another run-in with Sean. I don't know how much more my sanity can take. And how about I need your help? With what? I gave Eloise the rundown on the situation. So you're asking me? Uh, yes. I know you're not as busy watching Sylvain right now. Just because I was a demon child growing up doesn't mean I know how to take care of them. You think I do? Well, I'll consider it. I'd have to ask Juno what she thinks first, though. Um, why? She, uh, kind of hates that Luciano guy you mentioned. Like, really, really hates him. Interesting. Wait, what the fuck? I will say nothing now. Actually, let's let's talk to you. Juno hates Luciana. Is there a specific reason that she hates him? Yeah, she says he used to scare her like crazy back when she was a kid. And what with her brothers being Leonardo's and all, she's pretty ticked that he deserted. It's just something you don't do, you know? Even if, from the sounds of things, he deserted Leonardo's for a good cause. Is that it? Okay. Everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Kidder85, and I am back for another stream of Pokemon Ash and Frost. Um, I'm just gonna take a stab at it and say you're either in the same episode or the start of a new episode, where yesterday's episode was, like, also an Ash and Frost episode. Um, it's been, like, probably a good week since I've played this game, <laughs> so we're gonna have some fun, and I'm gonna have to retrace my steps, because I don't actually remember exactly what's going on. Anyways, let's take a look <laughs> at our team. I know someone hasn't gone into my save file and changed that at least. So first up we have Truffles, our level 67 Mammal Swine holding the Never Melt Ice with Ice Shard, EQ, Rock Slide, and Icicle Spear. We have Rocky Road, our level 66 Aerodactyl holding the Metronome with Crunch, Shadow Bone, Bone Meringue, and Stone Edge. We have Key Lime, our level 66 Motham holding the Leftovers with Nasty Plot, Bug Buzz, Lumina Crash, and Night Days. We got Rose, our level 67 Florges, holding the leftovers with Moonblast, Energy Ball, Wish, and Dazzling Gleam. We got Josh, the Empoleon, level 67, holding the Assault Vest with Flash Cannon, Surf, Drill Peck, and Ice Beam. And we have BBQ, our level 67 Blaziken, holding the Charcoal with Double Kick, Aerial Ice, Poison Jab, and Flare Blitz. And that is the team we are currently working with. Um, what the I'm heck pretty is sure. Lumina Crash? That is a move from Gen 9. It's Espathra's ah. signature move. Who even has it? Is it this thing that has the meter crash? And it... It's actually kind of busted. It's like 80 power special, but it also harshly lowers the target's special defense stat. 
Oh shit. Yeah. So with pretty ten good you hmm? ten, with ten uses and hundred percent accuracy. Yeah. Damn. So pretty good. Pretty good, anyways. Um hello Eloise. Um Oh that's right. So we So we remember that Juno hates Luciano, and I think we need to ask about that. Is there a, a specific reason reason that she hates him? Yeah, she says I he... misread Luciano as Lucario, and I feel like a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, she says he used to scare her like crazy back when she was a kid. And what with her brothers being Leonardo's and all, she's pretty ticked that he deserted. It's just something you don't do, you know? Even if, from the sounds of things, he had deserted the Leonardo's for a good cause. Cousin Stunt Double is... Saw me jumping off the footridge. Oh, it's all over social media. Leonardo. Oh, I see. I'm still not going to unfollow her. Oh. Maybe Luciano would have... Okay, maybe Luciano would have some ideas on where I could find Lustrous or Juno. So that's what we need to figure out. And then how Sylvain... <laughs> that's right. Okay. Okay. I. So we need to go back and talk to Luciano. That's what we need to do. Also, you know what's fantastic? Not having to translate every single word that you... <laughs> That I read. Oh yeah. Didn't even think about that. So yeah, that's that's kind of nice. So I think Luciano should still hopefully be in here. Hopefully, good he is. Um, he's probably drunk as fuck. Welcome, Lilia. Hope you're doing well. Hey hey, Lucy, I need your help with something Leonardo related. Ah, more kid stuff. Indirectly, it's about Lustrous. Why don't you just go provoke Donna Lucille instead? You don't need two crazy Leonardo women after you. What evidence, evidence do I have related to Lustrous that I could ask Luciano about? Um. Oh. The, uh, this one. So, along with your papers, there was this postcard. Oh yeah, she and Adamant would send me them all the time just to clog up my mailbox. Could you tell me a bit more about her patterns? What she would be doing after a collection day? Her interests? Up until I deserted, I handled all the collections. That's a bust. As for Lustrous, she was always smuggling back crazy weapons from her trips abroad. Interesting. Sill, I... You... Forget it. You've got enough to worry about without my worthless carcass being on the list. For the record, you're you doing that makes me feel more worried. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, that's not that's not reassuring. I'm good, but slightly delayed in continuing my personal ROM hack since a resource I need isn't updated yet. Is it not updated for like the essentials version that you need? Because there are like, I feel like a lot of uh, essentials like, even a ROM hack thing. Oh, that's right. I don't. That's not. But yeah, then I, I I don't know if I can help you. I don't know anything about raw packs, unfortunately. <laughs> At least in terms of developing them. I am very much a fan game centered person, unfortunately. Um wait. Oh, okay. I can also switch to sell. Um and do job deadbeat. God damn! Okay, so not not here. The case file. What does this say? We have Luciano's testimony. Lustrous adores weapon and more or less anything that causes pain. Um See, this is where I'm like, I just have no idea what to do. My brain is in ROM hack mode since I've been playing Kaizo Iron Man. Your personal fan game. Okay, yeah. So if it is essentials, um, I just make sure that like the the person who like creates the resource is like still around. Are these people? These guys are still in line. That's hilarious. Just because there are a few like people who make resources that don't plan on updating them and stuff like that. So um, don't like delay yourself if like you're. A resource you need is not going to be updated. Okay, in terms of 
what the fuck? Oh, well, good thing Juno's here. That's one of Luc Lucidius's resources. I'm not familiar with them, so hopefully they're still active. Really, babe, you need to be more careful. That goes against my Lafayette genetics. Well, you could at least think a little before doing stupid things like jumping from a height? No, my reenactment of Cousin Sill had to be as accurate as possible. Ah, you're impossible. And you're very pretty. Flattery will get you nowhere. How about a new knife, then? I've been planning some new designs. Eloise and Juno limped off to the sawmill. Well, guess I know where I'm going, then. <laughs>